Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. How are you guys doing today? It is Wednesday, and on this channel, that means it is Pack Battle Day. Average Joe and I go at it every Wednesday on the channel, on my channel and his channel. We open the same product, and uh, you let us know in the comments who you think pulled the best cards. For the second day in a row, I am opening a brand new product. Joe and I both found this on the shelves recently and decided that we would battle it up with Topps Chrome Platinum. And this uh, just hit the shelves uh, a few days ago. This is a 2022 product, as you will see on the box there. It has got to be, I think, the last 2022 Topps baseball product that will uh, show up, I would think. I can't believe there'd be another one. It's August of 2023 as I film this, unless I inadvertently stepped into a time machine this morning and it's actually 2022. I get confused a lot. Temporal reality is uh, its a puzzling, puzzling mystery to me. But uh, in any event, I'm not confused about what we're doing today. It is Pack Battle Day and uh, can't wait to get into this. Uh, Joe and I opened a lot of uh, last year's Chrome Platinum, which uh, was using the templates and designs of 1952 Tops, that classic set, and we had a good time with that. I really liked it. Joe, I think uh, he was trying to build a complete set, and I think he did. 700 card set of last year's Tops Chrome Platinum, which is a huge set compared to what uh, is usually the case these days. I think this, they reduced this, I think this is, uh, I need my spectacles to double check this, but I think it's a 400 card set this year, so I think they uh, they reined it in a little bit. But uh, nonetheless, very cool stuff. This is in the design of 1953 tops, and they're very pretty cards. Uh, they are chrome, and, and they're quite quite attractive, actually. We're going to get three exclusive Prism Refractor cards out of this box, and I hope we get some other great stuff. It's uh, 32 total cards, and I think it's eight packs with uh, four cards per pack, if I've done my math right. Get Mr. Kershaw out to take care of business there, and uh, let's see what this looks like. It's an unusual product, too, because on most uh, blaster boxes and retail products that Tops does, they show you a picture of what the card is going to look like on the box. And uh, they don't do that anywhere on here. They don't do that at all. So if you pick this up in a store, you have no idea what these cards look like unless you've found them online and done your research first. Not too bad in terms of the air left in the uh, blaster box there. It's about maybe... I don't know, a quarter of the box to a third somewhere in there. So you might be able to fit like a small uh, turtle in there or some sort of uh, miniaturized type of uh, animal. Have to cut some air holes in the box if you're going to do that, though, Tops, because, uh, you know, creatures need to breathe and stuff, even if baseball cards don't. So uh, we've got eight packs, and uh, I believe the cards, that the packs that have, like, uh, the special uh, only, you know, insert stuff. I think you might get extra cards out of that. I think it says four cards, but I think in some packs you might get five. So I'm not going to mix these up. Just going to open them in the order they came in and trust that Tops has uh, created uh, some suspense for us. Again, this is a brand new product. Second day in a row we're doing a brand new product. This is 2022 Chrome Platinum. We start off with Edgar Renteria. You can see a beautiful Topps 1953 design there. And the backs of these cards look like 1953 cards as well. Very uh, glossy and smooth. Very uh, nice cards for sure. We got Whit Merrifield there looking merry. We got a backwards card. What is this? It is Cal Ripken Jr. That is awesome. Check that out. That is fantastic. What a great pull. Cal Ripken Jr. And you can see that is a green parallel there is numbered as well and it is numbered to 99 so that is a really really sweet pull and as i said when you get a special card in here you do get five cards and that's what we got out of this first pack man that is spectacular i could not ask for better than that that is great cal ripkin jr numbered to 99 certainly put that in the wolf layer nice joe morgan card too it's a really uh, good-looking Joe Morgan card. I like that one a lot. And here is a blue parallel of Carlos Delgado of the Blue Jays. Nice color match parallel there for this uh, Blue Jays player. It's got a little bit of schmutz on the card, but it comes 
right off. Uh, those blue parallels are not numbered, but I think I think those are the parallels that we were uh, promised on the blaster box. I don't know, but that was a great first pack, man. Uh, that is awesome. Wonderful numbered to 99 Cal Ripken Jr. card. That is sweet. Don Mattingly starts things off here. Shout out to three good nerds. Justin is a huge Don Mattingly fan, as am I. I always like Don Mattingly a lot, and that is a really good looking card. I like that. We got uh, Nathaniel Lowe looking very serious, and uh, Cody Bellinger, and that, I believe, that is one of the cards we were promised. That is a Prism card. The Blue Parallels, we were we were not promised that. That's just uh, a nice bonus we got, but these uh, Prism cards were the ones that uh, we were promised. Cody Bellinger, our first pull of that, and George Solar there from the Marlins finishes off that pack. We go to our next pack. See if we can pull something uh, inserty and cool out of here. Josh Lowe. Is that our second Josh Lowe card? I feel like I uh, already pulled Josh Lowe. Did I already pull Josh Lowe or am I making... Oh, I pulled Nathaniel Lowe. Those guys are obviously related. Lowe is such an uncommon name. They must be brothers or, or cousins or something like that. There you go. Josh Lowe, rookie card. And Andrew Vaughn looking perplexed. We got George Kirby. And Garrett Cole looking very serious. Garrett Cole looks like his, I don't know, he's like going to be on the cover of Vogue or something there. He's got that sort of dreamy expression and looks like his uh, hair would be windblown if he would take off that Yankees cap. Halfway point, this is our fourth pack out of eight. So we have reached our halfway point already with us. Only four cards per pack unless you get a special uh, inserty type card. Casey Mai starts things off here looking skeptical. I don't know what he think he sees up there. Perhaps a UFO of some sort. Babe Ruth with a frowny face. Babe Ruth. That's a cool card. I like that card, actually. Pretty neat. And plus it lists him as a pitcher outfielder, which, uh, you know, that's that's pretty neat, too. You don't see that uh, characterization very often. We get five cards out of this pack. Mize, Babe Ruth, Peyton Henry, and that is a rookie card, and an Earl Weaver, and then our last card looks like some sort of an insert there. Nice uh, Earl Weaver Orioles card there. Longtime manager of the Orioles. And then we got uh, Jim Bunning here getting the uh, chrome sort of uh, foily treatment. I'm not quite sure what the uh, what that kind of uh, parallel is. It looks sort of like, uh, I don't know what that is. But I'll give it its own sort of uh, stack there and straighten this out. I'm making a mess of my stacks today. Put that with Bellinger. Why not? Jim Bunning. Great pitcher for the Phillies. We are still due a couple of uh, refractor uh, parallels here. I suspect we'll hit those pretty soon. Jake Cronenworth here. Running, running for the Padres. We got David Ortiz. That's a nice Ortiz card. Nice expression on his face there. I like that one. And Kyle Tucker. And then we got uh, Tim Raines. Nice IPC Tim Raines. So that is one I will certainly be happy to keep. Put that in the Wolf Lair for sure. We have three packs left out of this blaster. Remember, we are battling Average Joe. If you haven't been over to his channel, please check it out. Joe is a wonderful person, extremely nice guy, very generous, and uh, opens a ton of stuff on his channel, a lot of stuff that I never even see on shelves by me. Sparky Anderson here, another manager card. We got Earl Weaver and Sparky Anderson out of this. That's about as happy as Sparky Anderson ever looks. That is, he, he's, he's really, he's feeling glee. In that picture, that's Sparky Anderson. Jacob Robson from the Tigers. Two Tigers in a row there. Spencer Strider, nice rookie card there. Remember, this is a 2022 product, so that's actually a pretty nice card there. I like that one. I'll give that, put that in its own stack. And Tyler Glasnow looking delighted to be on a baseball card, as all players should. Penultimate pack here. And uh, I think we're, unless I missed one, I think we're still due a couple of... Uh, refractor uh, chrome cards here. I don't know. I could have missed them, I guess. Paul Goldschmidt, nice card of the reigning NL MVP. Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer there. And Gavin Lux from the Dodgers. And we finish off with Ernie Clement. Nice rookie card there. Very, very weird expression on Ernie Clement's face. Maybe he just swallowed a lemon. I'm not sure. This pack feels a little heavier to me than the other ones. I think we might get an extra card out of this pack. It's my prediction. Without opening it, I think this is heavier. Let's find out if that's the case. We got Miguel Tejada, who looks absolutely baffled as to whatever is going on around him. Miguel Tejada there. And Emmanuel Rivera. No, Rivera. Just Rivera card, Wolf. Don't add the extra syllable, buddy. 
it's just Rivera. Rookie card of Emmanuel Rivera there from the Royals. We get another uh, very nice uh, parallel. Looks like we might get two parallels out of this pack. This is Akil Badu, who uh, was sent down to the minors for a while, but I think he I think he was brought up again, and that is also numbered. That is numbered to 199, so a uh, pretty nice Tigers parallel. I like the looks of that card. It's kind of not showing up on the camera as well as it is in person, or maybe it is. It looks pretty good there. You can see it has sort of a nice sort of a blue marbleized border. It's a very nice insert, actually. I like that one. Vita Blue, uh, who I like quite a bit. I always liked Vita Blue a lot. I might keep that one in the PC as well. And we finish off with Teddy Ballgame. Ted Williams there, getting the uh, foily uh, parallel thing, too. I guess that and uh, Bunning and, and this card of uh, Cody Bellinger are promised inserts is my guess. I'm gonna have to go back and look at these and make sure I know what I'm talking about. I usually don't when it comes to new product because I don't research it enough. Our best card in my opinion was uh, this Cal Ripken uh, parallel, green parallel of Cal numbered to 99. That is an awesome pull for me. So that is what I think my best card was, but others may disagree. Perhaps you uh, saw a card in there that you thought was better. You should certainly let me know in the uh, comments if uh, there was something in there you thought was better than that. Average Joe's going to have to top this. I don't know. I, Average Joe usually can top stuff like this. We'll see if he can today. Check out his channel and watch him opening this very same brand new product, and you can see what you think, which one of us got the better cards. I'm, I'm not sure. I think I did pretty well, but it's, it's always hard to tell when it's the first time you've opened a product that you don't have anything to gauge it against. So there you go. That is... Uh, Really fun. I, I like that product a lot. I may have to pick up more of that. I, I really, it's quite a, a pretty product and it, uh, it's really very high quality cards. And, uh, I don't know if Joe's going to make a set of this or not this year. I have to ask him over at his channel. I think he made last year's and if he could do a 700 card set this year should be a piece of cake for him. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I hope you guys are having a good week. We're at the midway point of the week. I'll be back tomorrow on Anything Can Happen Day here on the channel. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen because most of the time I don't know myself. Friday I know what's happening. Friday is dorking with dice. We are doing it up here with some vintage baseball packs on Friday. I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow and Friday, and I hope uh, you're really having a, a nice week. Things are going well for you. Appreciate you coming to the channel, and as always, happy collecting.